Hello and welcome. Today we got something up this morning. So sit down, take a ride around, and enjoy. Now that's a cool toy. Hello and welcome to another review here, a review for you people, the fans, that's what it's all about, are the fans. God, I hope I still have fans. Uh, woo. Today, I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to give some love back to a series that doesn't always get love. Because some people are like, you know what, uh, fuck that series, fuck them to hell, Transformers rule. Fuck them, fuck. It's not fair. It's not fair because there were some great, great ideas in this toy line. Even though the cartoons, well, kind of sucked, I guess. And it kind of like derailed this franchise and kind of put Transformers on the top. What am I talking about? GoBots. Yes, GoBots by Tonka. Mighty Robots, Mighty Vehicles. Mm hmm. So, what is it about GoBots? What are we going to do today? None other than my favorite part of the GoBot line, the power suits. Yes, these little things here. If you look at the power suit, it'd be like, oh, that's fucking simplistic. What the hell is that? A piece of plastic? Arbiter! There's actually something very cool about the power suits. There's some cool gimmicks in the power suits, and the power suits are actually awesome. Separated like this, if you see this on a card somewhere sealed, you're like, oh my god, fuck the, what the fuck is that? You're not going to get it till you collect them all. And then, ah, oh, it combines into something beautiful. So that's right. Today we're going to review the GoBot Power Suits. We're going to review Grungy and Courageous. So sit down, stick around, and as always, enjoy. And here we have the Evil Power Suit. Evil Power Suits, I should say, GoBots. This is uh, what we call grungy when these all combined. Um, as you can see, these things don't look like much when you just look at them as is. It's what they combine later that's actually really, really cool. Because GoBots, you know, some people are like, ah, nah, fuck GoBots, I don't like them. Transformers all the way. You know, admittedly, I like Transformers more than GoBots, but GoBots are still very cool. Uh, the Machine Robo Tour line, which was brought to America by uh, Tonka in order to compete with uh, with what uh, Hasbro had brought over from, uh, well, basically from the Takara toys. Oh, so, as you can see, all these power suits have little, you know, they're all numbered. So, GB1, Cobalt 1. GB2, P2, GB3, and GB4. And actually this guy here, the leader, would be GB5, although there's no markings like that on him. Now, just like this, there's not much to it. It's supposed to be a spacesuit, basically. Um, so, for the sake of this review, we're not going to review the, the good guy power suits and the bad guy power suits because, well, let's face it, it takes too much time and it just repaints one of the other. So, I'll show you the the good guys, uh, Courageous, as he's called, uh, at the end of this review. But we're just going to review these, the, the evil ones here, the renegade power suits. We'll show you the guardian ones after. So, the GoBots, here we have a little GoBot friend here. Hello! These guys could actually, they kind of, they rode these things, if you will. These were like suits, like space suits, like spacemen. So you put them in there, close the front, and then you would close the sides here in order to secure the figure inside. And then basically they go flying around and doing stuff, I guess. <laughs> So you could put a GoBot in all, in each of these, which was really cool. So, you know, put one in here, put one in here, and put one in here. Very neat. You could also put a GoBot in this guy in the chest area here, which will open after. So these guys, 
basic, you know, not much to them. And they also came with a gun. See, I don't have the, the gun for Courageous. I just have the gun here for the, uh, I was missing one of these little guys here. But the gun for, uh, for Courageous. I don't have it for Grungy, that's what I meant to say. So, we'll move that over for now. This is the meat and potatoes of Grungy. So as you can see, if you look underneath here, pretty much a ship. See, there's wheels. And these wheels here, you could push them in as is. See, so you could fly around. Now, the thing that's neat here is that this holds a lot of the pieces to form the whole thing together. Now, just to show you how ingenious they were at Bandai when they made this, these two things here slide off, these two little sidecars, which are actually the foot pads to Grungy. Then you're left with the ship here. Now, what you may not know is that these foot pads also have a little secret. There's a compartment here, and inside the compartment, what's this? The fist! The fist to Grungy. So you can actually store the fists inside here, which is very cool. So they both have them here. Open this up, and there it is, as you can see. Check it out. Something that people got mixed up a lot on and I'll, I'll go through this a little later here, but the fists. They would put the orange fists here with the good guy power suit, which is uh, courageous. And they put the black fists on this guy here, which is grungy. It's actually the opposite. Because if you put these on the other guy and the blacks on this guy, you're not really going to notice them that well. So the way to always remember what fists go with who, easiest way... It's by the eye color of the robot. The eye color is orange. The fists that go with them are orange. The eye color is black, like your other friend over there. It's going to be black. All right. So now we're going to show you how this guy comes together. Transformation on this guy is super simplistic. But again, it's awesome because when he forms, he's a pretty big robot. So we can just pull down these wings here. Lift them up here. Push these two things back. Flip over these two, the two wheel legs here. And there you have the base of him. You can take the wings on the side here and bring them up too. There. We have a nice little streamline here. And notice the logo here with like the lightning and the grid, like the go-by grid. Very cool. I'll show you the other guy after. So, now you can notice here the chest opens. Right there. So if I wanted to take a GoBot and put him in the chest, for fun, I can do that. I can take tank here and prop him in there. Close them up. So basically, you can have a driver in every one of these suits, which is very cool. And the more if you put drivers, because GoBots, the cool thing about GoBots as compared to Transformers, were that they were all scale. All the robots were all scaled one to, one to each other, except for Super GoBots on that, but they're all the same scale. So you wouldn't have the situation where Metroplex is the same size as Galvatron or anything like that, which was neat. Also, because they were mainly die cast, they had some weight. So if you actually put all these inside and you use him or lift this guy up, he's actually going to have quite a bit of weight to him, which is very cool. And as you can see, you can actually see Tank in there. Woo, looking around. All right, so we're going to put this guy together here, or try to at least. Try to bring up the camera a little bit. There we go. So... Transformation is simple on this guy. 
the three and four of the power suits, they're the ones that will become the legs. So they're the ones that are going to get the foot pads. Just like Predaking had foot pads, same thing. So, as you can see, we're in the back here, there's a place here to slide that metal part right in. So there, locks, it's in, we have it. There's a the foot. I'm gonna do the same thing with our other buddy here. Foot pad right there. Put it on, slide it in. We have another foot. Now, the hands. But you can put these any way you want. I mean, you can you can interchange them in a sense that the two feet, two foot pads always have to be at the bottom because that's where these two things are. So these are always going to be your legs. That won't change. You can swap them places if you want to, but they're always going to be your legs. These two guys here, which have the middle parts in the back right there to hook on, these will always be your arms. You can swap them between the two of them, but they're always going to be your arms. So you take your hand, and your hand's actually semi-articulate. You can open that up like that, and you can move. I no, can't even move the thumb, but I can move the thumb. Can't move the thumb, you can just move the fist like that. So you can basically grab onto something. So, what we're going to do, this guy, so this guy is going to be like this on him. So the holes right there, just like our old, uh, just like the foot pad here, the same thing. A little piece here, I grab it on like that, and as you can see there, slide it in right there. There you have it, see? Same thing for this guy. Pick this guy up, take his hand, put it in on the bottom there, slide it in. There we have the arms. So now comes the whole combination to grungy here. When I was a kid, I was always I would always pick this guy. When me and my friend were playing Transformers, we mixed Transformers and GoBots together. And if I had first pick, I always picked the power suits because he had them. I thought they were so awesome because none of the toys we had were actually as big as this guy when it was combined. He's actually fairly tall. So I always picked this guy because I like that. I like it. So first thing we'll do here are the feet. So the foot, again, the same same thing that hooks up everything else, the same little thing there. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call that. The same little, I don't know, T-shaped. The back here, you can't just slide it in. It's not going to work. You have to pull this down. Then you can slide it in and it'll lock in place. See? I could pull them out like that. Or put it, the spring will come back up and I'll lock it in place. Same thing for our guy here. Pull this down so that it opens up. Push it in. Close it. Locked. Legs are locked. Now come the arms. Same thing, metal part here. As you can see, it's gonna fit right in there. So what you do, push it in like that. Done, that's it. Your arms just swivel up and down. Same thing on this side. Metal lock, metal in the plastic. Pull it through. Done. Swivel. So the arms have movement, just up and down. Whoops. That popped up. Put that back. Yeah, they don't make toys like this anymore. These are too cool. The legs basically the only movement you have are 
Another one's there just by doing this. So if you'd have the gun like we do on Courageous there, the gun would just sit right here on this little peg. I don't have a black gun. I can show you what the orange gun looks like. So the orange gun would go right on here. And it looks like he's holding the gun in his hand. Alright, so let's get some close-up shots to this guy. And we have power suits. Two power suits, actually. We got our man here, Grungy. And our good guy here, Courageous. And as you can see, Courageous is all decked out. He's got all of his little drivers in there ready for battle, which is very cool. Gives this guy a lot of weight to put all these GoBots in him, which is very neat. You can't have the pair. Well, you can't have one, I mean, without the other, because these two guys are just too cool. Basically, he repaints one of the other. Like I said before, the hands, you can tell the hands by orange hands will go with the orange eyes. Black hands go with the black eyes. The guns are actually the opposite, because the orange gun will go with... <laughs> well, let's do it this way. The orange gun will go with the orange head. And he would have a black gun if I have it. And it goes with a black head. <laughs> kind of weird. They're all basically, the stickers are all the same. They're just different colored. Except for the logos here. It's kind of like a good guy, guardian s type logo here. You know, the sun over the grid and then the bad renegade sign here. With like the lightning over the grid. So, very cool. The rest of the stickers are all just repaints one or the other. The back here, the stickers, you have the Guardian, which are the good guys, 7246, and you have the Renegades, which are the bad guys, 9713. So, very, very cool. These guys are awesome. These guys have good scale, too. They're, I don't know, what, 12 inches tall? Maybe more than that. Maybe, I don't know, 14 inches tall. They're pretty tall. I mean, that can give you an idea here and put, like, a He-Man figure. Thunder Punch He-Man right there. So you get an idea of how big these guys are. They're pretty big. Again, the cool thing about GoBots were that, like the normal robots anyway, the guys here, they were all scale, so they're all the same size. So you never have Leader One, which was actually, you know, the same size as one of these guys, which was neat. In Transformers, you get, I guess. Like I mentioned before, scale was never the big thing, so you'd have a Galvatron the size of Metroplex or Triptychon. So that, you know. I much prefer it this way with the scale and all that. So for the people who say fuck GoBots, GoBots are not cool. Well, GoBots are fucking cool, especially these guys. And if you don't have these two guys, you have to go out and get them, man. Go on eBay right now. What are you waiting for? Look at that. Look at the, the freaking battle these guys are going. Look at that. It's nuts. It's nuts. These guys did appear in a television series, although very minutely. And they also appeared in the uh, Japanese series, too. But again, you know, unfortunately, they weren't the stars of the U.S. series. I wish they were, because these are actually really cool. They look so cool. Separated, they don't look like much except for the leader. But together, though, all combined, uh, courageous and grungy, uh, look absolutely awesome. That concludes my review. Hopefully I brought back some memories, some nostalgia, or some love of the toys. Go bots, mighty robots, mighty vehicles, go bots. Woo! Till next time, guys. Take care. Later.